Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve these equations that involve radicals or simply square roots and eventually we're going to check our answers for extraneous solutions. So let's go ahead and solve this equation for x. So first I want to get rid of this one. I'm going to subtract one on both sides. So this cancels out. So we got square root of 3x minus 2 turns out to be 5 minus 1 equals to 4. Now we want to get rid of this square root. So what we're going to do is we're going to square both sides. So this square and square root, they undo each other. So we ended up 3x minus 2 equal to 16. Now we want to solve for x. So the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 2 on both sides. So this 2 and negative 2 cancels out. We got 3x equals to 18. I want you to divide both sides by 3 this 3 cancels out so thus our solution turns out to be 6. Now we want to check our answer right now. So our solution was x equal to 6 we're going to plug it in this original equation wherever you see x I'm going to replace it by 6. So what is going to happen is right now once I do this thing that's going to become 3 times 6 minus 2 plus 1. My question is is the left hand side equal to right hand side 3 times 6 is 18 minus 2 plus 1 which is 16 square root plus 1 so that's 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5. My question is on the right hand side that is 5. Are these both sides same? Yes. That means we check our solution. So that means this is a valid solution. So since x equal to 6 is a valid solution that tells us there are no extraneous solution. In other words, extraneous solution means that gives you an invalid answer or bad answer. Let's go ahead and solve this second equation now. We're going to add 7 on both sides to get rid of this one. So, so this negative and 7 is gone. We got 2 times 3x plus 4 turns out to be equals to 8. Now since 2 is multiplying, we want to divide both sides by 2 to get rid of that 2. So this 2 and 2 is gone. So we got square root of 3x plus 4 turns out to be 4. Now we want to get rid of this square root. So I'm going to multi I want to take the square on both sides. This square and square root they undo each other. So we simply got 3x plus 4 turns out to be 16. I want you to now subtract 4 from both sides. So what happens next? This is gone. So 3x equals to 12. Now I want you to divide both sides by 3. So simply our solution x turns out to be 4. And finally we want to check our answer right now. Since x equal to 4 is our solution, we're going to plug it over here. Wherever you see x replace it by 4. So that's going to simply become 2 times 3 times 4 plus 4 and then minus 7 and my question is is the left hand side is going to be equal to 1 let's go ahead and simplify it so 2 times this is 12 plus 4 minus 7 so 2 times 16 square root minus 7 
so 2 times square root of 16 is 4 minus 7 so that makes 8 minus 7 equals to 1 on the left hand side and our right hand side is 1 as well are these both sides same equal yes so that means we checked our answer that means x equal to 4 is our valid answer so since this is a valid solution that means there are no extraneous solution once again extraneous solution means a bad solution or invalid solution thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos